Hello cookbook friends, it's Japanese week here at Cookbook Divas. My name is Carrie, and we're going to look through Japanese patisserie, exploring the beautiful and delicious fusion of East meets West by James Campbell. Let's take a look. I think this came out in 2017. It's by Ryland Peters and Small, one of our favorite cookbook publishers. Let's check out the contents. Kind of hard to see there. Introduction, specialist equipment and ingredients, flavor wheel, basic recipes, techniques, finishing touches, and then the recipes. Small cakes and individual patisserie. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. I love tiny little treats. Sweet tarts, large cakes and gâteau, desserts, cookies and confectionery, and savories. Ooh. Okay, here's our author, James Campbell. And here's the ingredients and equipment that you need. So far, so good. Loving the photos. I have to be careful because this is a library book. Basic recipes, a choux pastry, very French. Creme patisserie, sweet short crust pastry, chocolate short crust pastry. Why is that so hard to say? Kashi and paste, kumquat and kink and marmalade. Techniques, tempering chocolate. Yay, step-by-step -step photos. Quinelling, hope I said that right. Spherification, this is a very advanced cookbook. This is above my skill level. Finishing touches, okay. Whoa, I see a beautiful photo. Here's the first chapter. Small cakes and individual patisserie and wait till you see the picture I just saw. Matcha, pink peppercorn and wild strawberry madeleines. Wow. Not sure I could get a kid to eat those green madeleines, but you never know. A Mont Blanc. I just looked through another Japanese dessert book and they all had Mont Blancs. It must be a thing. Tonka bean, milk, chocolate, and raspberry dessert. Step-by-step -step photos. Matcha shoe buns with cracklin topping and vanilla custard. This is above my pay grade. Step-by-step -step photos. How to roll it over there. Nice. Lemon and yuzu eclairs. Now I can make those and that sounds amazing. Okay, I can't show you the whole book so I gotta skip ahead a little here. Okay, la la la. Oh, look at this apricot tahini and sesame donuts. Look how cute those are. And the perfect portion size because American desserts are way too big and way too sugary. Um, how about sweet tarts chapter? Plum and almond tart with sake frosting. Wow, sounds good. Here's a beautiful matcha creme brulee tart with fresh raspberries and white chocolate cream. Beautiful. The photography in this book is stunning. Vanilla custard tart with rhubarb compote. Bitter chocolate sesame and caramelized miso tart. That's what makes it Japanese. Love it. Yuzu meringue pies with sesame twills. Step-by-step -step photos. Miso butterscotch tart. Okay, here's the large cakes and gâteau. I'm only going to show you one of these pictures so I don't ruin the whole book for you. Which one should it be? Oh, these are so beautiful. <gasps> okay, hazelnut daqua with sesame and miso. Maybe I have to show you two. Well, there's the picture from the cover, but you have the cover of the book. Lemon and yuzu velvet with pistachio macaroon. Wow, I really don't want to spoil the whole book for you, but there's so many beautiful, ah! Okay, matcha and pistachio opera cake. I never could get mine that straight and cut well. Now here's a chapter called Desserts. Well, the entire book is desserts, but okay. Layered panna cotta with sake jelly, fruit compote, and cherry blossom. Uh, sparkling sake apple crumble. Cute presentation, too. Earl Grey lemon, sultana, and caramelized brioche desserts with Irish cream liqueur. Look how fancy that is. Can you imagine being at someone's house for a dinner party and they serve that? And you're like, you're amazing. Probably I would ask, where'd you buy that? <laughs> and the person would be like, I made this. Passion fruit pavlova with momo fruit and pink peppercorn sugar. Compressed watermelon and charred grapefruit sashimi with limoncello. This is a fancy cookbook. Wow. Uh, sweet miso sato nashiki cherry and yuzu fruit macaroons. Matcha alfa horis, alfa joris. I don't know how to say that. And here's a <laughs> Sudachi Yuzu and Mikan fruit lollipops with yogurt sherbet dip. Wow, this is an incredible cookbook. And now here's the savory. I'll give you one example. Takoyaki, 
octopus dumplings finished with kewpie and bulldog sauce. I don't even know. So that was one example of the savory chapter. That was Japanese Patisserie by James Campbell. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook reviews and previews and look-throughs, follow Cookbook Divas on your favorite social media platform. For example, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, occasionally Pinterest. We also have a blog, cookbookdivas.com, and a podcast. Thanks so much for watching.